Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about um, the benefits of homeschooling and um, why I believe that it is, um, in most cases, a better choice than um, public schools. Um, I personally was homeschooled as a child and it is honestly one of my best memories um, growing up. Um, why do families choose to homeschool? And a lot of people, you know, when they think about it, they just think of, you know, oh, I don't have time, or, you know, I'm too busy, and things like that. But there's a lot of reasons why you actually should. And um, one of them is, you know, you want to have a better relationship with your children. And that is something that, um, you know, in this, especially in this day and age that, you know, I see there's not that strong bond in families that you used to see like in, in the older days. There's so much arguing and back talking and all types of things that go on um, in families these days that really, it, it's really sad and it shouldn't be that way. And um, you know, growing up in, in a homeschool family, there was a really strong bond between me and my sisters and my parents because they were with us every day you know, schooling us, training us, and it was really a, a great experience. Another reason would be because, you know, you don't want your children involved in the things that go on today in the public schools. You can see on the news all the time, you know, the things going on with drugs and violence and guns being brought into school and um, all the things that happen that are very, very scary and would not want to be a part of. And so then, you know, people would ask, well, you know, a lot of times when people say, well, I was homeschooled, the immediate judgment is, oh, well, you're religious. Because a lot of times that's just what people think. You know, and it's not true. There's like, so many reasons why um, parents would want to homeschool their children, and it's not stereotyped to just, you know, a certain culture or to, you know, a certain race or something like that. It's very wide reason. And I've known that a lot of um, children who were mil in military homes were homeschooled because they weren't actually able to be you know, placed in a school. They moved around so much, and it actually worked to their benefit as well. And then another question that's often asked is, you know, well, what about you know, their grades and things like that? So there's a lot of um, sources that show that homeschooled children actually have better grades than um, kids who are in public school. And um, I was doing some research on this, and there was a girl, her name was Rebecca Silfen. She was 13 years old from New York. In 1997, she won the Scripps Howard National Spelling Bee. Um, and David Beale, who was also 13 years old from South Carolina, he won the 1999 National Geography Bee. Um, George Dampy, he was 12. He won the second place 2000 National Geographic Bee and he won the National Spelling Bee that same exact year. And these were all homeschool children. Um, and then you see a lot of times in public schools where you know, parents would say, well, my children got set back a year, or you know, they're not doing well, they're failing their grades. And honestly, in homeschool, that's not something that you really see, especially when the parents are very involved in, in teaching their children, and they're really serious about it. Um, and a lot of things that have, you know, um, scores and stuff, the homeschool children actually have higher grades in their SAT scores and in their Iowa tests. And in Florida, that is actually um, a requirement. As a homeschool child, you have to take once a year either an SAT or an Iowa test. And I did every year. And um, especially in my later years, um, I was at college level grades. Um, which was awesome. Like, I was really, really happy about that. But a lot of it had to do with my parents who were there for me every day and the interaction and the type of things that you're not going to get in a public school, that one-on-one, -on -one, that, you know, maybe a child who's having a difficult time and they need personal one-on-one -on -one tutoring, a teacher may not be able to give it to them because they have so many other students and things like that. Whereas your parents are there for you and they can do that for you. Um, and also, I found this quote very interesting um, from the National Home Education Research Institute. And they say it repeatedly across the nation, the home educated score as well as or better than those in conventional schools. And
and it really is true, and I can testify to that as, as an example as well. And um, another thing that people often say is, well, your child's going to be socially awkward. They're not going to know how to you know, communicate with people properly because they think that they're sheltered, which is um, a myth. It is very false. As a homeschooled child, um, my mom used to take us all the time to places where we would interact with other kids. We would go to events and to, um, they, would, they have special types of um, things for homeschool kids. Um, they also have like football teams and you can join ballet, like all types of different things, um, field trips. And you can even join in on field trips from kids who are in public school, you're allowed to do that. And so it's, it is um, a way to have your children be, um, have that social interaction as well. So it's, that's a myth um, when people say that. So um, another thing that I was looking at was there is this author, her name is Linda Dobson, and one thing that she said, she is author of the first year of homeschooling your child. And this quote really touched my heart because I know it to be true. She said, homeschooling gives a family the greatest gift it can receive, time. There's enough time to try many different education approaches to find the one that best serves your child's needs and learning styles. There are so many different types of um, books and education things that you can get. Um, we have a Becca book, Rod and Staff, all types of different things according to your child's grade level, um, according to their thought processes, so that they're not just stuck in one curriculum that maybe isn't working for them, but there are all different types of curriculums to help them and there are even studies for a lot of kids who have um, ADHD and they have a hard time you know, being able to pay attention, that they have special programs just for them. But as a homeschool child, um, it was proven that it was, they were able to function better in society as a homeschool child with ADHD and other things like that than people who are in public school, and kids who are in public school. So with all this, I hope that you all can understand more coming from a homeschool child and understand that it's not just you know all these myths that people have come up but it's actually i believe a better alternative to public schools all the way around